the fact that you can copy the bank memo over. So let's see here. Let's see if there's actually a bank memo in this thing. So let's edit this online banking matches. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So the next thing I want to talk about is the copy the bank memo from a transaction. So let's say we have this expense. It's an ADP expense that came in from the bank feed. And for whatever reason, either because we didn't have that one thing turned on that automatically adds the memo in or we change the memo, uh, what happens is that this is now not a part of the memo anymore. So what we did is we added a thing below that tells you what the memo was and allows you to copy it in. So if I just click this, it will automatically populate that into the memo. Now, I want to add, I want to preface something to that if, if you don't mind. So there, there are, there's also a, a big problem with the rule creating mechanism. Anytime you create a rule, uh, especially when you create it from bank feed uh, uh, by clicking on create rule right from the transaction, if you do that, automatically QuickBooks is set up to by default to add forcefully add uh, the the memo of the transaction that you're creating the rule with to all the consequent uh, transactions. So what ends up happening is the true memo that was downloaded from the bank originally that is tied to that transaction gets hidden. It is saved in QuickBooks somewhere in the in the memory. Um, and, it, and in this screen, can you show it where, where you can see it in this screen if you wanted to? So in this screen, it's, it's hidden inside this little pop-up. But this information is not available in any report. So you can't run a report that compares, for example, the original bank memo versus the one you actually have in there. So what Mark has done is when you go into ev any screen in QuickBooks, it compares your memo, the one that's in there, versus the original bank memo. And if the memo is different, then it shows up in red in the bottom as a link. Okay, so if you have some, uh, if you save it, and you have some random memo that doesn't match exactly verbatim the original bank memo. And uh, as the refresh comes in, you will see. Uh, so if you have something else in there, it will show you in red saying, hey, this is the actual original memo. And if you click on that, it replace does it replace it or does it append it? I, yeah, or, so um, it prepends it. Yeah. If you have something in there, it prepends it. If you don't, it just replaces it. All right, can you highlight the, the, the part that was prepended? Yeah. So uh, that's the stuff that you had in there. So, I, and again, unfortunately, we, it's the mechanism is not to replace it. The mechanism is to prepend it. 